Hi guys, welcome to the video. So this is the BMW F800GS. I've uh, got a few issues that I'm trying to do, but one thing that does seem to be a common issue is with the uh, antennae circuit, circle, um, stopping the vehicle from starting. So I'm just using process of elimination. Obviously I've got a wiring issue there. This is a stolen recovered bike, so uh, just trying to get it going. It had the EWS code. I'll put up a screenshot of what I had come up on the display. Um, I've replaced the battery um, and then bought a new one of these. Uh, I'll show you the part and part number. So well, there's the part number. I uh, actually got it cheaper from BMW, uh, main agent, 42 quid, 11. Uh, these were about £55 on eBay. So, hence the main agent. The only thing I did have to invest in was the uh, security tool. There it is there to obviously remove the two nuts on each side. There and there. Okay, guys, so yeah, EWS is on. So we're going to look at the wiring, uh, the key, um, and the immobiliser connection, and see what's going on. Uh, new battery is going to be needed. This is the one I've just took out. So it's dead as a dodo. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is a follow-up video from my earlier one with the EWS code. So uh, we've gone through the roll of it. Um, I've had a new key from BMW, uh, a new ring antenna I put on, uh, just as two of the possible solutions. There's a new battery put on it, uh, and there's still nothing, still getting the code. Um, guy come round, done a diagnostic for me, um, and it said, uh, I put a screenshot up uh, of the what he said and what the results were, basically a mobiliser. Um, but then when I looked on the forums, there was uh, uh, another potential issue, which is the uh, ECU, which is located in the back there under the seat. So um, I looked at a few options there because you can get cloning, uh, which is obviously a, a good option, but you still need a donor. Um, donor ECU, um, which you have to check your, your part number. Um, I put up a screenshot of my one as well. So I done a post, put it on Facebook, uh, explaining the situation, and that's where I found out some of these solutions. And a guy donated one to me. All I had to do was pay the postage. So um, I took it to the garage, who uh, had the motorbike in Spain. And after a long wait, because he was trying different things, tried a company in Mercia, couldn't get it. Uh, copied, was having problems, couldn't fix obviously the original one. Uh, then I took him up the clone one and within two hours he had the bike started. So um, couldn't believe it. So just for proof, obviously you can see I'm out and about. But, um, Good. Oh, I did have a little bit of oil actually coming out from down the bottom. It turns out it's probably just a bit of oil sitting on the pan. Uh, so I give that a little jet wash. And she's purring. Oh, I've got a bowl. I've got a bit of bowl as well. I tried the um, swapping them over. Uh, it could be a wiring issue. Yeah, no, she's good. Running nice. So I'll put up a few little bits with a write-up as well. So if you have the uh, EWS code come up on your bike, you can try these. It's, it's going to be one of four things. It's all whatever it is. Uh, oh, actually, there was one other thing. Yes, the cabling. Um, you may need sometimes to trace the cabling. 
and it's obviously you've got a little split or anything some people were getting trapped cabling down now uh, as a potential issue but my harness is obviously a little bit destroyed from being stolen uh, so where it was snipped the guys did replace the cabling because I've done a, a pretty bad shot as you would have seen in the earlier video as you'll see at the beginning of this video so it's all tidy now